Uh, Scott and Kieran here, delighted to be joined with uh, Troy Williamson, all the way from the bubble. Uh, Troy, how are things? How are you feeling? I'm all good, mate. How are you? Yeah, mate. Uh, not, not too bad, not too bad. can see you've been uh, smashing the FIFA out in the bubble. Uh, how has that been going, mate? Yeah, good, obviously. I've uh, got my coach on it. He, he's never played in his life. The first game was a nightmare because I had to tell him exactly what button was what and how to run fast, how to finesse the shots, how to pass, how to cross. And fucking yesterday, beat me 5 now. Try you, uh, you'll be, uh, you be taking him on the pads next now. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> but I don't, he, he, he must have just been messed out yesterday, pretending not, not, like, how not to play because today, fucking, he, he was on fire. He's fucking. <laughs> He's, took he's, put, he's pulled a fast one over there, mate, <laughs> definitely. Hustling you, Troy. He's hustling you, mate. Therefore. <laughs> Is there any other sort of, uh, any other boxes you know, mate, that, you know, I've got, got a pretty good, uh, strong FIFA game? I've got a what, sorry? Is there any other boxes you know that have got a pretty decent uh, FIFA game going on? Yeah, Joshua Frank messaged me asking if, if I could play. But I think he's got a PS5, I think, but... Um... I don't mind go, go, going up to his room. Well, I might have a look, look to his room more and uh, give me a little whooping on the PS5, even though I don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, try this. Uh, let's get into Friday, mate, and fight night. I mean, it's something that every fight that always says about camp, but just tell us how well's it gone for you, mate? No, honestly, it's gone absolutely brilliant. Um, we've had an opponent for about 12 weeks, so we knew who we were fighting. So what preparation I need, what tactics I need and everything's gone great. For the, for the first time in my career, believe it or not, I've had a full camp with a full opponent that's been the same right from the start. So like I say it's got it's it's gone it's gone brilliant. Um previous camps I've, I've had opponents pull out and we've had to change the game plan and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But now this one's um stayed the same the, the full way through. So I'm really looking forward to it and Showing on Friday night what I've been working on. Are you looking in obviously fantastic shape, mate? And you know, I think by the looks of it as well, you've had some some pretty good sparring. I saw you were sparring with Lerone fairly recently as well, weren't you? Yeah, I've been getting some plenty of rounds in with Lerone Richards and there. Uh, obviously, I'm not fucking. I'm not. I'm not taking that away from Kim Smith because Kim Smith is a magnificent fighter. He's sixteen and all with seven knockouts. But I think Lerone Richards is just uh, a league above. He's Obviously, two weights above, which is ideal for me. He's unbeaten himself. He's already been British and Commonwealth champion, moving on to a European champion. Um, so, like, I can't get much better sparring. So, like, Kim Smith's not going to be as big, as strong, or hit as hard as him, if, if you know what I mean, in, in that sort of way. But, um, yeah. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not looking past him, because, obviously, on the night, he's going to be very, very sharp, but... All I can say is I've had, I've had the best of sparring. I couldn't have asked for better sparring. I mean, speaking and I've of, been sparring well as well. I mean, speaking of Kieran, uh, try. I mean, the rewards for a win against him on Friday are very clear, mate. Um, winning, you, you know, your next in line for a shot at the British title and as the final limit. Uh, just tell us, mate, um, how much um, how much the opportunity to fight for the Alonso belt very soon is fooling your drive, mate, or focus? Yeah, a million percent. Um, i seen uh, my coach wrote someone on Facebook a couple of months ago and it's, it just stuck with me. Like He's got an amateur club, Phil Thomas School of Boxing, and there's been champions up on champions from schoolboys up to like juniors, youth, seniors. And uh, he just he, he did say like that he'd love to win a British title as a pro. And I was his only, I was his first pro that he signed with. And that, well, I signed with him, so... I've got the opportunity to do that for him. So, like, obviously, when I do win it, I'll, I'll be giving it to him because just because of what I've seen. I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a coveted belt, mate, isn't it, for any British fighter in I mean, the Lonsley, but it's such a magnificent looking belt, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've never seen one up close or personal, if I'm honest. Um, but everybody does say it's the most beautiful belt in, in boxing. And it's one, obviously, every British fighter want, wants to win. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely love to grab that. I mean, before we talk about sort of, you know, the, the British and talk about Ted Cheeseman, the holder of that title at the moment, I just want to come back to Kieran Smith. 
I mean, what do you see as his, his strengths and weaknesses as a fighter, Troy? I think his strengths, he's, um, he's fit. He can box, he can fight. Um, his weaknesses, I think he just holds his head up a little bit too high. And, uh, so you need to keep that chin tucked down on Friday night, otherwise I'll clear him. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, as we said, Troy, with the, with the win Friday, um, you know, the, the fight with Ted Cheeseman is there for the belt, mate. But um, Daddy and Matcham seem to have other ideas. Is there's lots of talk, you know, about Cheeseman Fowler in the summer, possibly. I mean, are you, are you happy to sit and wait on the outcome of that one, mate? Or, or you know, or would you uh, see a fight? I would do see a fight with also go in anyway. It doesn't really matter who he fights next because he's got a voluntary, so he's got to fight next. Um, actually, like it goes in one ear and out the other. If I read it, I don't really take much notice of it with the likes of Fowler calling him out, Conway calling him out, or any other fighter. Because let's be honest, everyone wants to achieve him a fight. He's British champion. Mm. Um, obviously, all I'm obviously. All my thought was on Kevin Smith, and then once I beat Kevin, it's just when Ted does defend the British title, it's going to have to be against me. So, no matter who he fights next, obviously, as long as I get a shot at that British title, then I'm happy. I mean, the, the division, as we mentioned, is thriving at the moment, and it's, it's one of the most stacked in Britain, it's got to be said. I mean, we spoke of obviously Ted Cheeseman, Anthony Fowler, two names you mentioned there. We've got to think as well, you've got Hamza Shiraz. You know, Scott Fitzgerald is returning as well on the weekend. Kieran Conway. So, I mean, if you have to sit and wait for, you know, a potential Cheeseman Fowler fight, would you be happy to take a fight with one of the other names that I've mentioned there as well, mate? Yeah, I'll fight anyone. Uh, I've, I've said it for a long time. It doesn't matter who they offer me. They've offered me bigger, bigger names than that, and I've accepted them. It's just, unfortunately, they haven't happened for whatever reason. But obviously, I'm, I'm 29 years old now. Um I want the big fights and I keep asking for the big fights and it's awful, awful, to, be, uh, awful to get delivered. I mean, another fight, you know, um, uh, we'd love to see as fans is, you know, is the Ham to Shiraz fight, mate? I mean, obviously he's with Queensbury as well. I mean, is that is that another fight, you know, you can potentially see happening, you know, because you're both up at the end of the same stable? Yeah, well, um, it's... it's, it's to be, to be fair, it's long, it's long gone now. To be honest, with you. it was meant to happen last year, and it didn't happen this year, and it didn't happen. So, a full focus is on um, Kevin Smith now, and then getting that win, then moving on and going down the British route. It's obviously it, it, it will happen in the future, but right now, like I'm not interested. I'm interested in going, going after Kevin once I get rid of Kevin Smith. I mean, as you said, Troy, you're not looking past Friday night and, you know, a, a game Kieran Smith in front of you. But just how much of a buzz personally for you is there as well to know you're in such a stark division, as we said, and, you know, with fans coming back now, there's potential great fights to be made in arenas in front of fans. You must be buzzing to see that happening again, mate. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you said, the stark, uh, stark division, I think it's the best. The best division domestically and potentially in the world. Uh, London Football Council. I'm glad to be a part of it. And like I said, hopefully the opportunity comes to big fights. Because that's what I'm. I mean, speaking of you know, big fights, mate, another sort of um, fight in your division, Kieran Conway, mate, um, he's got a big ask. Obviously, he's going to be going over the WWE the Continental Strat, mate. Um, is that when do you think he's going to win, mate? And he's obviously he's going to be on the Saunders Canelo and the card as well. I mean, it's going to be a great fight for him, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be back in there, Tim Conway, for that. I'm right behind him. Yeah, he's a great guy. Done a lot of rounds with him. So. And, uh, yeah, he's, he, well, on paper, they say he's up against it, against the so called. Um, but Conway is massive. He's a massive still well away. And um, I think he's got Len after he's moving. Yeah, and it's obviously such a, a massive platform to, for, you know, for him to put his name on as well, mate, isn't it? Being on that, you know, that Canelo Saunders card, the world is going to be watching that. It's such a huge, op a huge opportunity and platform for him, mate, isn't it? Oh, it's an unbelievable platform. It's an unbelievable platform to be on. 
all you need to do is go out there and uh, get the job done and do it look good and play it with. I, I hope he does do it. Troy, it's been a, you know, it's been a in different year, it's been a surreal year in so many different ways, mate. But just just sum up now, what would the perfect end to 2021 look now for the Trojan, mate? British champion. Um, because I couldn't dream come through, you know, so give me a budget. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I have to plan, obviously, get, get a good win on Friday night. And then, I can't see why I can't challenge the British before the end of the year. Oh, wait, can we, um, just before you know we leave you go and and uh you know smash a few more people up on FIFA mate. I would just want to grab your thoughts on the rest of the weekend's card. I mean there's a huge opportunity for Sonny Edwards. You're fully confident he wakes up as a world champion Saturday morning, mate. Yeah, I'm um, Sonny Edwards is, 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 a, is a character as me. I've, I've known him from the amateurs and mate, he, 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 he can look to it, he, he, can, he can look like five moves ahead in the ring. He knows what he's going to do. The body opponents knows what they're going to do. Like his skill set is unbelievable. I think, um, I think he'll win by a wide point decision, definitely. Mate. And obviously, you know, it's great to see Michael Conlon back in there as well. Isn't it? Another fantastic tournament, isn't he? Yeah, I've been on a few cards with Mike with Mick Conlon. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be on. It's a pleasure to be on the card with, with, with these guys, even, even little Sonny Edwards. It's a pleasure to be on his undercard, even though he's knee high. Uh, yeah, obviously, I, like even though he's small, like I, I look up to these guys, and these guys were. In, I used to look up to these guys when I first started boxing. I first started boxing when I was seventeen year old, and these lads were winning like junior ABA titles. And I was like, fucking hell, he's good. He's good. I used to go to the championships and watch them fight when they were like. 15, 14, 15 year olds, and I was like, oh, no, he's good. And I was, I was like, just having this fight. I used to look up to him, and I still look up to him now because they're leading the way. And he's fighting for a world title. And obviously, it was not so long ago I was a TV. Yeah, we can. I'm only on the bottom of the I just need the opportunities. Are oh, awesome, mate. Well, we'll. Uh... Troy, thanks so much for your time tonight. Maybe we really do wish you all the best for Saturday. And, you know, we really wish you all the best for 2021. And we'll uh, have to catch up again soon mate, when uh, when you win the British title soon. Yeah, definitely, mate. Anytime. Wicked. Troy, thanks. Cheers, Troy. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much, lads. Take care, mate. Bye.